Welcome to the sixth ITU World Telecommunication Development Conference here in the beautiful city of Dubai in the United Arab Emirates. We're very delighted and honored to welcome here in the studio Mr. Mohammed Nasser Al Ghanim, the Director General of the Telecommunications Regulatory Authority of the United Arab Emirates and Chairman of the World Telecommunication Development Conference. Welcome, Mr. Al Ghanim. Thank you. Mr. Al Ghanim, why has Dubai become such a popular venue for ITU global events? As you know, UAE is, is uh, located in a central place where, uh, first of all, uh, we are becoming a hub where east and west, north and south uh, countries can come to and exchange ideas and do business. At the same time, the telecommunications in the UAE has been advanced, advancing in a very fast uh, way and we are now one of the leaders in the world in terms when it comes to telecommunications, whether infrastructure or services or even regulations. Our vision was to basically host, to start with, host the ITU uh, World Telecom back at that time 2006. So we were competing in order to, to host uh, such prestigious event at that time. It did not happen, and it did not happen in 2006, it did not happen in 2009. So uh, we were competing in order to, to get that event. So it happened in 2012. At the same time, we decided, since we are hosting the ITU uh, Telecom event, we decided that since WTSA and WICKED was happening around the same time is to host them as well and make UAE a hub at that year in 2012. We had, uh, we had the support by the board of directors who had a visionary uh, you know, um, uh, vision to look into the partnership with the ITU. Mm -hmm. And it is a huge advantage for all the delegates that the UAE is first of all a very safe country, uh, well situated around the world, it's a hub, it has got airlines uh, which connects to it from all over the place. At the same time, it is one of the uh, most attractive places for tourism as well. Mm -hmm. Now looking at this uh, WTDC 14, uh, <clears throat> uh, I know that it's not quite over yet, uh, but what do you see as the most significant achievements or results of this conference so far? I think so far we have approved more than 27 resolutions and uh, more than 17 recommendations or questions. Of course, compared to, uh, because I've chaired WICKED, it's a huge difference between WICKED and WTDC. Mm -hmm. uh, the spirit of people, first of all, who is participating completely different than WICKED. Mm -hmm. Everybody is coming with a spirit to, you know, to uh, agree and to move forward on, uh, on, on the agenda that, that was established. So far, 27 resolutions touching bases on so many uh, fronts. One, for example, that deals with ICT and climate change. Okay. One second can be looked into the cyber security and comb combating spam. Mm -hmm. Another resolution was dealing with people with disability, um, and so on and so forth. So there has been a lot of important decisions, important mm -hmm. resolutions that was taken WTDC that will be uh, submitted to uh, plenipotentiary conference in, uh, by the end of this year in Korea and hopefully see the light for the next study period that will happen with the, with the BDT. Mm -hmm. And what were the greatest challenges in, in conducting the conference, if any at all? The cooperation of the administrations involved in any decision. The chairman of the conference facilitate dialogue between different parties. Mm -hmm. When you are a chairman to a small meeting, you know, sometimes you, de you deal with one or two or three um, people who has got different opinions, mm -hmm. coming from different backgrounds, different positions. Mm -hmm. When you deal with a world conference, you are, you know, in front of more than, for this conference, for the sake of an example, more than 150 administrations. Mm -hmm. So you really need to uh, bring them all around the table you need to make them hear, you need to allow them to, uh, to give their opinion, and you need to be very balanced in your approach in order to make th things happen. And you need to be very positive. And the chairman has to come up with sometimes with solution 
uh, and recommendations to to the meeting in order to uh, to bridge uh, you know differences mm -hmm. and i think respect for the chairman is so important so if the meeting respect the chairman's opinion i think this can help in achieving its tasks i was lucky because i have chaired wicked mm -hmm. wicked was a very difficult conference mm -hmm. i think wicked was the most difficult conference ever itu uh, had before mm -hmm. and we came up with uh, with a treaty that was signed by 89 countries in my opinion it was a big success because it came with so difficult questions mm -hmm. and and thanks god it has concluded and we see right now the european is open up to sign and accede to the uh, to the treaty mm -hmm. and for me that was a very good exercise chairing uh, you know wtdc because it mm -hmm. has a, a huge difference in terms of um, mandate as well as it, mm -hmm. you know it has it has a much less mm -hmm. um, stress on me mm -hmm. to to do things i think the chairmans and the vice chairmans of committees did a great job this conference mm -hmm. uh, there has been only one or two resolutions mm -hmm. that i had seriously got involved in it mm -hmm. where i had to sit with uh, with different administrations and try to resolve things mm -hmm. otherwise things are moving in a very smooth way mm -hmm. i think we will conclude the conference today with a very successful uh, outcome mm -hmm. Yes, you just mentioned two uh, big issues that you might have faced. Uh, could you just share with us which those issues were? I think the first mm -hmm. issue was the Palestine resolution, mm -hmm. uh, which was negotiated between Palestine or the Arab countries and uh, the U.S. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, and they have they have uh, they have sat around the table, good mm -hmm. faith. They negotiated the resolution, and we have concluded it, you know, very quickly. Mm -hmm. So uh, last Thursday. The matter was resolved. It mm -hmm. was presented on Sunday plenary meeting. It was mm -hmm. closed. So okay. that's that's something which is great and positive. Mm -hmm. The cybersecurity resolution, which has taken a very long time till mm -hmm. until it has been resolved. It, uh, you know, people they stayed uh, in the meeting rooms till one o'clock or two, two o'clock mm -hmm. in the morning. This also came to a successful conclusion. Uh, some of the issues was popped up in the plenary, which was resolved very quickly and we've closed it and it has been approved. So that's mm -hmm. these two resolutions, uh, I think it was, um, there was a lot of contentious around mm -hmm. it, uh, a lot of opinions about it, but mm -hmm. the good thing is all the administrations involved were positive mm -hmm. and they solved it in a timely manner. We know that uh, there were the six regions within yes. uh, uh, the uh, development sector and uh, we had regional mm. conferences or meetings where uh, a lot of issues uh, were discussed and agreed in those regions. Uh, we're talking about the Arab states, uh, the Americas, Africa, the Commonwealth of Independent States, um, and Europe. Mm. Um, so has this uh, helped uh, to make of the course. progress that we've of made course, now? Of course. I mean, instead of negotiating with 190 plus countries in a, in a, in a world conference, you negotiate with uh, with regional groups. So, uh, in a region, you know the region countries uh, get together, agree their common position, and then go to the other regions, try to negotiate, and then becomes you know two or three regions with one positions, mm -hmm. and then maybe three regions with one, and then fourth and fifth and sixth, and then we come up with a conference where we agree to, with each other. Mm -hmm. There, there will be still. I mean, on the agenda of any conference, mm -hmm. there will be common agreement on a lot of issues mm -hmm. and there will be some issues which mm -hmm. will be left that will not have an agreement between the regional groups and mm -hmm. it will end uh, it will end in a conference where the conference is going to decide mm -hmm. but otherwise without the regional groups i think any conference mm -hmm. will be very tough for any chairman mm -hmm. but because of the regional groups meetings mm -hmm. i think it makes it so easy for um, for uh, for future conferences to conduct its business mm -hmm. because you know, you know, administrations comes at least with an agreement among themselves, among their region, before they present it at least to the other regions. Mm -hmm. And normally, we see right now uh, regional coordinations uh, meetings between yes. the different uh, between different groups. We have seen mm -hmm. it in different in WTDC, in WRC, mm -hmm. even in Wicked, even in WTSA. Mm -hmm. You know, regional groups get together, meet, they resolve their issues and their differences. They come mm -hmm. to the conference with at least. A smaller amount of work. There is one thing as well that I want to add. Yes, the right. ITU plays a role. Right. The the director of the bureau plays a role. So, for example, the BDT director, this conference played a mm -hmm. massive role mm -hmm. 
and bridging a lot of differences between different region groups. And he did a fantastic job for mm -hmm. the WTDC where he has resolved a lot of issues himself, mm -hmm. trying to coordinate among the regional groups, trying to bridge the, uh, the, uh, the, 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 the gap, if there is any. Mm -hmm. So in this conference, you know, Mr. Sano, for example, he did, he did it, and uh, I was briefed for the conference about mm -hmm. the work that has been done, and which is fantastic. Mm -hmm. And I think the director of any bureau, they do this uh, before any conference. Mm -hmm. How do you see the future of the partnership between Dubai and, uh, and ITU? This is our fourth event in a row with the ITU. Mm -hmm. And I think uh, both parties, UAE and the ITU, have recognized one fact, mm -hmm. that this partnership was a, you know, a very successful partnership. Mm -hmm. We had the uh, ITU or Telecom, we had the WTSA 2012, we had the Wicked 2012, and we have the WTDC 2014. Mm -hmm. And previously, by the way, we had mm -hmm. the GSR uh, in 2007, which, mm -hmm. where, where we had the Global Symposium for Regulators. Mm -hmm. But these are major, uh, major uh, conferences where it was held in the UAE, and mm -hmm. the conclusion was very successful. So mm -hmm. I think I wouldn't uh, predict the future. I think there will be uh, future work with the ITU. Mm -hmm. We are still committed as a country mm -hmm. to work with the ITU closely. We are putting our candidature for, for, for the council. Mm -hmm. We are working very closely with the management team during the council uh, meetings, mm -hmm. as well as during the study groups and so on and so forth. We have representatives from the UAE in Geneva, which mm -hmm. works full time with the ITU. Mm -hmm. We are very close to the management team. We supported the Secretary General and the Deputy Secretary General and the Directors with the Bureaus over the past eight years. Mm -hmm. We have a new management team that will come uh, towards the end of the year. Mm -hmm. uh, of course, we, we need to sit with the new team and discuss the future of the ITU and hopefully work together more on, on issues mm -hmm. and hopefully have more uh, meetings hosted in the UAE. Mm -hmm. Regardless whether it's a major uh, conference like, uh, like this or like others, or even study groups, which we have, which we have held before. Mm -hmm. Let's look at the theme of this conference, which was uh, broadband for sustainable development. Here in Dubai and in the United Arab Emirates itself, uh, a lot of effort has gone into exactly. uh, broadband. Uh, can you share the experience you have in this country with us? Uh, we have one of the most successful stories that we can tell mm -hmm. the world. And um, first of all, we have more than 85% fiber run mm -hmm. to, the, to, the, um, uh, to the premises of, mm -hmm. uh, uh, to the premises here in the UAE. Mm -hmm. So, which means more than 85% of the households has got fiber connectivity. Mm -hmm. We have an average speed today, which is in excess of four MB per user, mm -hmm. which is, uh, that's on fiber which we are targeting to have it doubled soon. Mm -hmm. uh, we have speeds which is, which, is, which, is between, which is right now exceed 100 MB. We have mm -hmm. 300 MB speeds which is deployed for individuals, mm -hmm. not even corporations for individuals. Mm -hmm. uh, we have one of the uh, most deployed uh, 4G networks globally. We have more than 90% population coverage of the 4G network here in the UAE and 100% of the 3G. Mm -hmm. We're going beyond 4G mm -hmm. uh, soon. Um, our theme for the, uh, for the national policy is broadband. Mm -hmm. And we have a high penetration rate in terms when it comes to mobile and when it comes to triple play globally as well. So mm -hmm. people in the house, they have, they, they, have, the, you know, they have voice, data, and TV on mm -hmm. one platform. Mm -hmm. And the realization by the government that technology, the adoption of technology is so important and they have taken a very serious uh, consideration to basically uh, allow technology and even the day-to-day -day, uh, business of the government where the, the Prime Minister declared to migrate the government to become a smart government mm -hmm. and have all the government services to be on, uh, on mobile, on, uh, on smartphones mm -hmm. is a huge step forward in order mm -hmm. to transform the government services and even the look and feel of the government services into something which is very innovative. Mm -hmm. 
And today we have deployed a lot of guidelines for all the government institutions. We have 110 applications mm -hmm. for the government institutions. We have an app specialized for the government mm -hmm. in, in, in Apple Store and on Android. Mm -hmm. uh, we are, uh, the Prime Minister also declared that Dubai is going to be a smart city very shortly. There has been a strategy to migrate Dubai to become a smart city as well, to become mm -hmm. one of these uh, first smart cities globally. So we have a big story to tell to the world. And today in the, in the WTDC, all the delegations uh, who is participating in, in WTDC, they can come and witness the story and they can hear the story and they can feel the story. It's available, it's running, it's live. And we are, uh, we are going to see a lot of advances Mm -hmm. Over the next, not a couple of years, over mm -hmm. the next uh, at least uh, 12 months, we will mm -hmm. see a lot of advances that will happen uh, in the UAE that, and that you will hear about. Mm. Okay. On that very bright note on broadband in the United Arab Emirates, we thank you very much, thank you. Mr. Al Ghanim, for being with us today. Thank, and thank you. And thank you. And th thank I would you. like to thank the ITU also for their trust mm -hmm. in hosting this meeting here. Uh, my appreciation to, to, the, uh, to the Secretariat, my appreciation to the Secretary General, the Deputy Secretary General, the Directors of the Bureau, the, they have done a fantastic job. We should not forget that this conference is going to be the last conference for them all. Mm -hmm. Of course, some of them will be re-elected mm -hmm. in the next plenipotentiary conference. Some of them, this is a, their last term. Mm -hmm. And I wanted to say a big thank you for, uh, for all their work. I think they need uh, an appreciation and I think they have done uh, a fantastic job over the past eight years. Uh, Dr. Hamadoun Touré, mm -hmm. uh, he's leaving the ITU. Uh, this is the last of his term, mm -hmm. the last couple of months. I think what he did with the management team, the existing management team over the past eight years is something that a story to tell as well about the ITU, mm -hmm. where it was with the previous management and what it is now with their team. He has given a good example of how team can work together mm -hmm. with one hand. Uh, they have fantastic management team, Mr. Zhao, mm -hmm. uh, Mr. Malcolm, Mr. Mm -hmm. uh, Sanu, and, and uh, Mr. Ransi. Mr. Ransi. Mm -hmm. I wish them all the best over the next couple of months. Mm -hmm. uh, I wish Dr. Hamadoun all the best for also his, his career after uh, being a Secretary General of a very reputable uh, United Nations agency. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much indeed. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.